A new robotic system could allow doctors to perform brain surgery on stroke and aneurysm patients. A team of Toronto doctors have com completed their first surgery using a robot on a live patient. Dr. Vitor Pereira is a neuroradiologist with the Kremble Brain Institute at Toronto Western. He controlled the robot during the surgery and he joins me now. Doctor, good morning. Um, this is super exciting. Tell us how this robotic surgery works and what makes this so groundbreaking. Good morning. We are very excited too that we could perform this procedure here. Actually, the robotic system uh, brings uh, at this point a lot of precision to very delicate uh, interventions that we have to perform to treat uh, brain aneurysm. We've been working with the system last year and we've been doing a lot of experiments to be at this stage and we, we did, we were very fortunate and, and, and happy to perform this first procedure. This first procedure, so um, was this performed remotely? I, the, this procedure, we have two teams, one team that is bedside, just beside the patient, and we have a robotic arm that uh, have all the devices, and I'm in a console, but inside the same room, but I'm operating the robotic arm uh, to perform the procedure. So actually, it's completely, it's an extension of my hands and my arms with more precision inside the patient. And, Aha, but it that's... opens a possibility of yeah. doing this remote, this console in the future, if we have the, the, the capability, it can be 100, 200 kilometers away, and we can actually be offering this procedure in, in rural or isolated areas that today don't have access to this type of, uh, of procedure. That is incredible. And, and I'm, I'm hung up on one word that you used, and that is precise. So by using this robotic system, you're able to do this with a precision that you wouldn't be able to do, you know, hands alone? Yeah, this, there are different steps of the procedure. For this specific procedure, the stent deployment was really enhanced by the, the, the use of the robotic system. I could place with a millimetric precision the stent in front of the aneurysm to allow the, the continuation of the treatment. That was the advantage of, of it. And it's definitely, it's a big advantage for us and for the patients too. So what did you do to this patient? What was the procedure then? Yeah, she had a large brain aneurysm. It's a, it's a vascular blister that has a risk of rupturing. Uh, we actually entered through the groin and we navigated the catheter up to her head. And the robot, with the robotic system, we navigated the microcatheter and uh, we were using a room with x-ray, so we didn't do any, any surgery in the head. We just did through the groin all the procedure. And we placed a stent to reconstruct the artery, and we occluded the aneurysm with coils. So we filled up the blister with coils, and we excluded this aneurysm from the circulation. And now she's not at risk of having a, a rupture anymore. So it was 100% successful, doctor. 100% successful, and it sets for us and for our field um, a very good precedent. First of all, in increasing the precision of these type of delicate procedures, but also opening the door, as I told you before, to remote procedures in the future. Doctor, do other hospitals around the world do this? This is the first uh, experiment. We have the own machine that's able to do this procedure. Uh, and. Uh, up to now, we are the only center that are able to do this procedure in the world. Congratulations. It's just uh, incredible. Appreciate that you could take the time to speak with us this morning, Dr. Pereira. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for us to have you here. And I was assisted during the procedure by, by my team, Professor Krings, Dr. Nicholson, and the specialized robotic technologist, Nicole Cancellari. All right. Yeah, it takes a team. Thank you so yeah. much.